everyone, it's Rachel from JR Couponer and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys an updated tour of our stockpile. Um, if you guys have seen our previous video, this is just going to be an updated version of what it looks like. I believe I made it about a year ago or so, so I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like now. Um, so let's get started. So on the top shelf up here, we have a bucket full of all of the um, cleansing wipes and I apologize if it's a little bit dark it is in our basement so we don't really have a lot of lights down here in this box we have all of our car um, air fresheners we have a couple of Swiffer wet jets up here some dial and Irish spring soap we like to keep the items that we don't typically use quite often up top so we don't have to continue to reach them um, down here we have all of our oral care so we have toothpaste and toothbrushes and we have all of our lotion to the left. It goes all the way back. Um, and then over here, we have all of our body wash. And it goes all the way back there. I'm going to show you guys a shelf down. Okay, so here's all of our soap. I'm extremely grateful that we have a bunch of soap during this time. Um, so we didn't have to go and order it online or anything like that. So we have plenty of antibacterial and regular soap. Over here we have all of our air freshener cones. We've had those for a while now. And to the left we have all of our facial, um, like the micellar water and the cleansers, scrubs, items of that sort, if you guys can see it back there. And in this bin we just have a bunch of hair products. We have hair masks, some Nexus, um, some curl enhancing smoothies, which I highly recommend this, I love this. Um, and we got some of different sprays and items of that sort. And to the left, we have all of the L'Oreal um, facial products. Going down a shelf, we have a bunch of different soaps and bath bombs, items of that sort inside here in this little bin. Because we don't really like stacking smaller items, we like putting them all together so we can just throw it in the bin. And then we have all of our shampoo and conditioner. Sorry if it's a little dark. Um, we have all of our shampoo and conditioner over here. And we keep our mom's hair color over here. Hair conditioning and shampoo. Okay. Coming over here, we have all of our more recently purchased um, hair products. We try to keep all of our items organized by time um, of purchase, so the older ones are in the front, but obviously we can't um, continuously do that all the time, so we try our best to keep it organized. We have a little bit of medicine over here in our sunscreen. This is what it looks like all together. And then down here we have all of our laundry soaps and bleach items of that sort it goes all the way back and I had to stack these on top because I couldn't really fit um, any other items down there so I just stacked them and then lately we've been um, utilizing bins so we've put all of our makeup and items like that in the back all of our open makeup is back there all of our newly purchased makeup is in this container um, some more makeup is in this one, and down below is all of our medicine. Like I said, um, small items. We used to have a pegboard before our house got um, flooded. We used to have a pegboard and hang all of our makeup on there, but now we are working with bins. Okay, so up top, we have all of our deodorant in these two CVS boxes. Um, the deodorant we do not stack because if you guys have a sock pile, you know that if you stack deodorant, it's very easy to knock one over and then you knock all of them over. And then I have some bounce dryer sheets and then these um, cups that we got for 70% off at Target last summer. Down here we have some gain, the little um, the scent boosters, and we have all of our... Um, sprayable cleaning products, Fantastic Pledge, Windex, items of that sort. Going down a shelf, we have all of our makeup remover wipes, some open razors. Like I said, our house was flooded, so we had to take all of the plastic off of the items. So we did have to have some um, spare razors, so we put those in these containers, these little flower pots. And then we have 
men's and women's um, shaving cream that we organize by um, gender. The next shelf, we have all of our um, dish soap. We have dish soap and we have dishwasher tabs down here. We put those together. And then we have um, Febreze, Airwick, and all of our um, air fresheners. And then some miscellaneous um, aloe and mouthwash that we use goes on the left. And on our bottom shelf, we have um, Mr. Clean and all of our other cleaning products like um, toilet bowl cleaners and items of that sort. We have some shout down there and some plumbing items. This is what it looks like all together. And then the last shelf is, um, we dedicate this to all the items that we actually don't use. So they're either going to get donated or sold. So we have a bunch of Suave products, some Febreze soft soap, Axe, Irish Spring, some Garnier, Tresemme, and then um, Colgate, L'Oreal, Crest, items of that sort. And on this little um, spindle, we have all the items that are opened or got damaged that we're going to use next. So we like to take all these items and um, use them as soon as we run out of other products. And then a couple of these drawers, we have like miscellaneous makeup products and some school supplies, items like that. And then over here we have three stacked crates. In this crate we have um, all of our razors that we will be using and then it goes down to makeup remover and then some Pantene down there. I can't pick it up and record at the same time. But that's everything that we have. If you guys haven't seen our last video, um, definitely check that out. I will link it down below. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I have a goal of getting this video to get 50 likes, so make sure to hit that like button down below. And as always, thanks for watching.